What is it you've been waiting for a politician to do or someone else to do? And how can you go and make that happen yourself in whichever ways you can, even in the smallest ways? Hey there, welcome to today's video. Nash Mackey here, Rapid Breakthrough and Personal Performance Coach. I'm going to talk about a topic that is very, very hot right now in Australia. And I'm going to talk about this topic not because I want to get political or anything like that, <clears throat> but because I want to support as many people as possible. Use this time we have right now. We've just got someone else in has been elected, and uh, you know, I, I I I respect politics. However, I never put too much emphasis on it, expecting some politician to come and save me. All right. Now, I want uh, to, to give you an example of how kind of unattached I am. I once had the Prime Minister of Australia standing in front of me uh, when I worked at a cafe in Brisbane many years ago. There were these security guards around and I, I didn't realise there were just these people with little fanny packs on and they had their hands in, obviously concealing weapons and everything else they, they had. And there, there was the, the Prime Minister, that was quite a few years ago. I didn't realise until someone pointed it out because I wasn't keeping up to date with the news. Uh, that was when I was a little younger. Now I, I do my best to keep informed with what's going on in the world. And obviously we all know that there's been some massive changes in Australia over the weekend. And this is relevant to you, even if you're not in Australia, because obviously you've got someone in power in, in your part of the country. And I wanted to drop in and just share this message because I, I want to see people win. I want to see people live the greatest quality of lives possible. And to me, what I noticed was a lot of people were putting so much, they were relying so heavily on the elections going one way and a certain person or certain party getting into power. Now, there's ideals in life. We have ideals where we're like, it would be sweet if life went this way, but we've got to check in with ourselves. As has been said, the essence of life is uncertainty. We never truly know. And it's really our relationship with uncertainty that allow, allows us to either be massively disappointed when things don't go away or really be indifferent to it and just focus on our path of growth and taking things to the next level. So I, I noticed a lot of people, some people with really big followings, sharing messages that were quite hopeless after the results of the election were announced. And that's no judgment on anyone because I understand people at times, we, we can all put a lot of emphasis on outcomes. That's what we do as humans. Right now, if you're feeling a little deflated, if you're feeling like the wind's been knocked out of your sails a bit because of the outcome, I invite you to check in with yourself. And I invite you to actually ask yourself, how can I use this outcome to become the most empowered version of myself? How can I use this outcome to learn to stand on my own two feet stronger than ever before? A lot of people are looking and waiting for a hero. They're waiting for someone to come and save them without knowing it. They want someone to do more than they're willing to do for themselves or their community. So this is a beautiful opportunity for all of us, again, regardless of what country you're in in the world, to check in and say, all right, am I holding myself back, expecting someone else to do more? I get it's massively challenging when there's people in power who are doing things that you don't agree with and you believe they should be doing it different. But guess what? They're not. And we can either sit around and, and complain about how it should be different or we can just say it is what it is and get on with it and focus on becoming the greatest, most empowered, most educated, strongest versions of ourselves and, and creating community around ourselves. I learned many years ago from a great mentor, an amazing way to approach life is with high intention, low attachment. I had intentions for this election as well. I was promoting information about certain parties because I believe they stood for great things. So yes, I had very high intentions, but I had low attachment to it as well. I'd actually made a decision in my mind how I would show up regardless of who got elected. And that's what I'm inviting you to do. I'm no better than anyone. I'm not saying that by any means, but I'm inviting you to consider how can you use this time right now to take your life to the next level? What is it you've been waiting for 
a politician to do or someone else to do? And how can you go and make that happen yourself in whichever ways you can, even in the smallest ways? How can you, as Gandhi, I believe it was, said, be the change you want to see in the world? How can you do that now? How can you make that happen? How can you start the snowball rolling? That is the opportunity you have. So right now, take stock of where you are. Start looking at where you might be pulling your punches in life, where you might really not be allowing yourself to step up as the most empowered version of yourself. Maybe it's in your finances. Maybe it's in your health. Maybe it's in your mindset. Maybe it's in who you hang around with. Maybe it's about what you're feeding yourself mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically. All of that. Check in with yourself and ask yourself, what is the next level for me? And go about creating that. And beyond that, remember the power of thought. Sounds woo-woo for some people. And if it does, well then maybe it's worth you exploring that topic a little deeper. We fully know that thoughts have power and your thoughts have the ability to create certain outcomes. Anything we create, we create it first in the mind and then in the body. So right now, despite who's in power, who's in, 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 in certain positions of parliament or whatever, how are you committed to showing up regardless? That is my question for you. I get it sucks at times when things don't go the way we would love. But what are you going to do? Are you going to sit around and wait for someone to come rescue you? Or are you going to be the change that you truly want to see in the world and uplift others and inspire others to do their part as well? That's the opportunity we have. And that, my friend, is living a life of purpose.